Hey, I need a cab. I'm sending one out right now. Cool. Okay, buddy, there you go. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm gonna miss this place. If we're gonna do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I, I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Stevie cleared the noose building in Palomino Highlands as a base for this op. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit! So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, but sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get in the shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart. Put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Pour me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay. Okay. I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself lately. A little? Man, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files, Chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it... Hey, fuck you. Honest and angry. This is some of the best mental health work I've done in years. Man, it's gonna cost you, homie. Trust me, you're gonna pay for that shit. All right, we're coming up. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be ready. I'll radio in. Guys, are we ready? Waiting on you. This place is in the creeps, Holmes. Same with this Fed pilot. Okay, I need my engineer stationed outside the building calling in updates. I'll be on standby, boss. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. All right, you're Haynes' pilot, right? We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chopper. You can take us up. I'll get on the stick when you jump. Feels weird not having Trevor on the stick. Feels okay to me. He might be. 
be a better pilot, but I'm less inclined to kill you in your sleep. See, that ain't what he says. Okay, I'm less inclined to stab you in the face and then do funny things to your corpse. That sounds about right. Hey, everyone, quick pep talk. My friend Franklin here called me out for being an ungrateful prick on the way over here. I have to admit, I've been remiss. Everyone's being paid on this run, except me. But it ain't great money for the crazy target you're drawing on your backs, and there's a good chance this thing won't work at all. I took the job. I knew it was gonna be like that. So, in short, thank you for your efforts. It means a lot to me. I picked you guys out especially for this shit show. So take something from that if you will. There'll be more scores down the road, maybe a big one, and sunnier days ahead. But this is where we are right now. So let's try to survive it and achieve our objectives. We stick together, we might not die. That's what's getting me through this. All right. When you say jump, I'll jump. Hey, come on. Grab the stick. You got it? You ready? Uh, are you? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm lucky I can even breathe at this altitude. Let alone calculate the odds of surviving the jump, landing, fucking firefighter, whatever else blowback there might be. Alright! I shouldn't have asked. Let's go! Come on! What the fuck you waiting for? Let me on! They're gonna pick us. Okay. Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Gain access. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security team. The alarm's been tripped. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connect it to the machine. They better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Concentrate. You gotta find this terminal's IP in the network's view. You're looking for the IP address, that number at the top, in the massive numbers in the middle.
Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run BruteForce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start down and out.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. Okay, people, we're rewriting history. Security team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. It's underway. We need that chopper ASAP. Get her over the building. Arrow is confirmed. Approaching the tower. Check the entry point. Back up a goddamn minute. No. Watch the left side. Hey, chopper's here. The process ain't finished yet. I'll hold here. Wait on your signal for pickup. Get out of here! They're coming at us! We need an out! We got agents on the level. What you hiding, assholes? You think there's enough of them? Hold tight! Hold tight! Motherfuckers! Check the doors! Get out of here! Hey, the dudes are through the door! Just want some fuck! Here they come! Pop these motherfuckers! We know you ain't kosher! Check the entry points! Give us a second! They coming at us! Back up! They're coming at us! Don't die for this shit, dog! MIB choppers, pick me up! Clear for takedown! We knew this was coming. Let's do this. We got it's underway. Here, we'll need that chopper ASAP. Get her over the building. Airlift initiated. Find my building. Eyes up. Yo, keep our feet, man. We got agents on the level. Here's our lift. The network ain't down yet. Holding over the FIB agent. Hey, we'll be down here soon. You think there's enough of them? You lying cowboys! What's happening over there? The download isn't finished. Keep holding them off while the process completes. Okay. We got one shot in. This up has to be true. Hey, the dudes are through the door. What's so special about your computer? Motherfuckers, check the doors! Just back up a goddamn minute. Check the in... Three points. Hang on, guys! Here they come! Yeah. I'm coming these motherfuckers! Don't die for this shit, dog! They're coming at us! We in and out! You think there's enough of them? Get out of here! Motherfuckers! Check the doors! Hey! 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 They're coming at us! We know you ain't kosher! Check the entry points! We just want some files! We got agents on the level. Move. MIB choppers, pick me up. Clear for takedown! I'm taking fire! They got me! Try to bring it under. Give us a second! Change of plan! Use the backup gear! Make our way down the building, rappel off the side! Man, shit! They gassing us out! Smoke bomb! Be cool! Guys, you there? Yeah, go ahead. The helicrash caused extensive damage. Explosion went through a couple of floors. Sprinklers brought the fire under control, but be extremely careful. Alright, got it. Back up! Yo! Yo! Watch the left side! Hey, stay there! Move on the left, hey! Download complete. Get the device. 
All right, man. Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Stay close to me, dog. Coming through. On your knees. Where are you going? Weapons free. Oh, Em, you gonna clear this room or what? Let's go. I got this door. Dude, body, let's move. Hold on, I hear something in the stairwell. Opening, here we go. You gotta go, Fed! Keep going! Hey, we got a problem up here! Sprinkler system! Can't see anything! Man, can I have to shut it off? I'm in the system. Okay. Shutting down fire suppression. Atta girl. Whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. Get out of the way! You gonna step to me? You fucking lose in our way! We getting out of here! Fuck you! Run or get clapped! You fucking penis! Let's do this! Hey, you gotta see this. God damn! Fuck! Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be a... <laughs> no, he didn't make it. Are you funny, huh, motherfucker? Well, let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey. Oh! Screw you! Screw you! I thought you'd be Arabs! All right, you terrorist prick! This way! You guys make an honest killer like me sick! Always moving! Let's go! Come on now, you're not going anywhere! You can't oh, hear me! Go cast your pension! On me! Come on! Following you! Damn! Come on! Corrupt ass bitch! Moving! Moving! Hands in the air! You're in our way! Back down, asshole! Let's go! Hey, let's move! I'll kill you! We getting out of here! Let's get out of here! Hey! Get lost! Take them all! We're coming through! Let's go! Hey, down these stairs! Following you!
You the point man, dog. so come on. Get out of the way! You gonna step to me? Stay with me! There's a way outside. We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. All right, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. To the right, man. Look, by heavy flashing light in the city. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. An air unit seen you on the side of the building. Look out, guys. Ah, oh, crap! They got a bird! to the street. That's it. Gotta go. No shit. Let's get cracking, man. Unless you feeling at home in the bed, building. Hey, if you want to say with Trevor, feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dog. Let's do this shit. Go! The driver meant to be around front. Hey, corrupt ass bitch. Let's do this! You're in our way! Back what? down, assholes! Out of the way! Get out of the way! Man, I don't see the drive! Hey, I'm here! Oh, shit, it's the ambulance! Get in! Move it before we're seen! They gotta think we're a legit ambulance. We might be getting away with this. All right, all right, we're clear. Frank, I told Les we could use your place for a post-mortem. Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Boom. Now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of there. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Hold off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hopeful. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kids' college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, I was semi-sort of serious. But joking, once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. 
This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this? Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? I'll take care of it. Hey, come on in, man, but don't forget to take your shoes off. Damn, Franklin. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Any longer, I was going to torch this place, too. <laughs> hey, hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fucking it! <laughs> hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Here it is. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicted, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but... There's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I got to deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Then it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Yeah, I need a cab as soon as you can. I'm sending one out right now. Appreciate it. Pacific Bluffs. I'll get you there fast, buddy. All right, brother, here we are.
Ah, see? Davy, that's why we're such great friends, huh? Because we're old school. We like old-fashioned things. Newspapers. Celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know. You tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. There's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you can say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? The fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit. Mike, this your frequency. Up those stairs. I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other. Hey, hold the quail. Uh, nine. Hey, uh, three. No, 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 no. It's one quail. Caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Haynes. Haynes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. Fucking this is a public sector dispute. out of your ass, Davy. Bend over here it comes. Okay, I'm going down. We meet in the courtyard by the fountain. Fuck. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching reunion and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, give me that vantage point. Give Dave a hand. The 
This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I've been better off putting my sights on him. Hank's made it out of here, and there's another group of agents looking into our shit, right? Now, you're not in a position to let our only friend in the Bureau get killed. It looks like there's a window. D, run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. So tell me, Davy, who are these bureau men trying to kill me? They're a corrupt division. Gone rogue or on the IAA payroll. Leave me alone! Okay? I thought you were the corrupt division. Corrupt? Only a little. Definitely below average. Ah, Christ! Look out! Up there! you dicks they're done I gotta get out before someone clocks my chopper hey thanks T this is our shot I'm making a run for the parking lot get clear and we'll talk collapse this way this many bodies there'll be cars in the lot put as much stir between you and this place as you can and do not contact me until you're absolutely sure you're clear This one's mine. Good luck. Stay safe, D. Are 
So conversate! Not here! Meet me behind the pawn shop in Morningwood! Shit! Chopper! Well, that was fun. What are you doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me. Huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What are you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back. Or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head, but... If it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then, you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, Tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose the group hugs out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sordid, nasty, depraved history. But history, nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah.
Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying the price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <sighs> look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? Uh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. The files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man.
hey, hey, hey. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. The place is crawling with ballers, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah, tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic, classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. He runs away from the fight, I run towards it. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One. The front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in, and most likely the heaviest. Two, down the hill to my left. There's a bulldozer there. Might be able to use it in the assault. Here's where I'm making my play. I'm going right at him. All right, my turn to move. Hey, I got a good vantage. I'll see what I can do up here when the time comes. We might stand a better chance if we come at him from two angles. All right, I'll take that on board. Shit getting hot, homie. Strap up. It's the boss, homie. Eat a dick. Where's the tall dude? Go fuck that. Hey, 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 you ain't going nowhere. OCBC all day. Where you got LD? T.A., you seen Lamar yet?
Me. We getting out of here, dog. Oh, fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. There's more of them coming. A lot more. Hey, guys, come on. The crazy dude here, too. All right, Lamar, let's go. Let us go. I'm gonna tell you what it is. Said again. She said I should come pay my last respects to the dumbest motherfucker in the LS. You're lucky we're not taking your pot, too. If we go this way, we'll have Michael's gun for support. Look out, they're coming at us. This guy's up on the side there. We'll take Lamar, but we'll leave you the weed. Hey, you're moving up in the world, homie. I ain't never seen this many motherfuckers want to kill you. Nigga, I was about to make a run for it.
You're lucky we're not taking your pot, too. You gotta be the hardest motherfucker to kill in the city. That's only because of the company I keep, nigga. If we go out this way, we'll have some cover from Michael Scott. Cut your losses. Let us go. Give me cover. They packed the men down here, homie. There's another dude in the bushes. Hey, homie. I can't believe your ass ain't got pop yet. Believe it. We'll take Lamar, but we'll leave you the weed. Huh? Oh, stupid hey. ass mother. Give me some bullets. Ah. Give me some bullets. Oh. Hey, did they get you? Hey, you moving up in the world, homie. I ain't never seen this many motherfuckers want to kill. That's a funky kind of compliment, nigga, even from you. We're walking. All right. The least you could have done is bought me a burger. Nigga, I didn't realize your ass was hungry, nigga, while you stared deaf in the eye. Hey, I got a fight on my hands. Form gangsta, nigga, one last time. Hell yeah, the farm is gonna keep on grooving, nigga. Even if we do... Crucify, that shit ain't for you. Mike, you planning on shooting these bricks? So many bullets! All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz ain't. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you sure? Because I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. All is beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them. Shit! Don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid. 
laid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. And we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck. Fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You show sure stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga stress knew. Everybody knew stress knew. Tanisha knew stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, I don't know. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit at yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. So I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga, I mean, Thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. 
But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something, or invade some fucking country. No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Oh, fuck. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, flossing ass nigga. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davy. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather. Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother? There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. So you're gonna drive into me? Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh yeah, we'll talk.
Let's go find him. I last saw him around the corner. Hawaiian snow. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. I... Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? Now you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop? My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. I bet I could be an actor. Okay. You around here? Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! Get him, Daddy! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know he already had a sugar daddy! Now we're the ones who got to do something. All kinds of things. D-A-D-W-T-F! How do you like that? Damn! Hey, Creepo! I'm her father, not a sugar daddy! You've raised a great kid, Mr. Sucks. Very... He's out of the car! I get it! I'm going! I'll never come back! I'm an addict! I need help! I'm the victim! We're letting him go, right? He got the message. Yeah, I think he got the message. you in today? Better than when she came in, that's for sure. You suck! Cover me! Let's go already! Get that fool!
Let's just say it don't look like he's gonna turn up at your next fan club, AGM. The fan club's gone national. That's amazing PR, Pop. I might... Hey, stop it. Be careful next time. Would you mind if I leaked this? Leaked what? I thought we had you potty trained two decades ago. Ew, I meant bleed it or something. No bleeder, no life invader, no whatever else you got. Being this public with your life is what got you into this situation. Thanks, Daddy! Bye! I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Ricky from Life Invader. Bro, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but it's kind of difficult for someone with a middling GPA and bad references to get a job in this climate. You gotta help me. Hey, if there's something, I'll call you. That's all I can say. Good luck out there. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Okay, okay, the airport. Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back 
before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not gonna stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, look, I don't want to hurt anyone. I just want to get my movie. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. What's she up to? Michelle, please calm down. We're here to escort you to the hangar.
lady, on the fucking floor! Clear the hangar! Murder! Molly! He's a psychopath! Move! Hey, 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 coming! Stop! Oh, stop! Look out! Didn't have to happen. Oh. Ain't no way to... Dispatch. Eagle Force heading to the local. She's the one behind this. Uh. Trespassing. That's the most you got on me. Uh. Hey, I ain't done anything. I loved you once, Tony, but there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? 
We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by Korea. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Hey, Jim. Dad, why didn't you tell us about the premiere? Mom and Trace are, like, freaking out trying to get ready for the red carpet. Oh, yeah, shit. Sorry. I should have given you more warning. It kind of crept up on me. Have you actually got a tux, Sweetie? No. I gotta pick one up at Ponsonby's. Hey, meet me there. We'll go together. Take your time. Get in the back, Pop. A stretch limo. Oh, that's pure class, Jim. Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then. I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my neck rolls! Entitled! E. N. T. Uh, Title! Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill! I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say it about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. 
Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Come on, this is fucking ridiculous. My clients are here waiting, they've been waiting, and they've been waiting. Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame. Um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. What's happening? Where's mom? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. There to fuck me in the end. Everything's going to be okay. That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. Stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the house! All occupants! Frag out! Not yet! 
Stay put! Neither do I! Just keep calm! I'm gonna drop you! I told you to fuck off! Get some, motherfucker! I'm fine, Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. Come get some! No one's gonna kill you! Daddy's got it! Trace, you just stay down, sweetie. They're going to kill us, Dad! No one's gonna kill you. Daddy's got this. Standard ordinance! Let's do this! Wrong guy. 
got you, you dick. Uh, be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> oh. Get the fuck off me! I, I thought I was on that guy. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Well, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor is Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Well, that's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. I need a cab as soon as you can. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Appreciate it. Hey, I just saw your bleat. Where are y'all gonna be in a couple hours? Okay, well, what about that gut burrito y'all have? Special special. Special. Hey, man, what's up? Where can I take you? Michael! Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house! I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Del Perro Beach. Where you headed, homie? Rockford Hills. Sure thing, man. Okay, buddy. There you go. Brandon Roberts, dude. I know, trippy, right? He's just like a regular dude. You kill all these people, you're gonna have stains. 